Hey guys, I'm just here with another quick vlog talking about a few things. First thing, of course, being we finally got the Deadpool trailer uh, uploaded in all its full HD glory, and uh, my god, it's even better than I thought it looked in the Comic Con footage. Yep, it looks as if the studio is finally going to listen to the fans and give us a superhero movie, a comic book movie that we want and that we deserve in all its glory. So, the quick story that I can um, basically tell from the trailer because I didn't really know that much about Deadpool. Um, I know of him, and I know uh, what he's famous for in, in the in the uh, Marvel Universe, but basically, um, Wade Wilson is this mercenary who finds out he's got, basically, uh, full body cancer. So, this doctor comes to him with a, with a proposal, and he signs up to the Weapon X program, which, as we all know, Wolverine had signed up to previously. And they basically turn him into this super soldier that has basically the same uh, regenerative powers that uh, Wolverine has and he becomes the red suit wearing wise cracking fourth wall breaking Deadpool that we all know and love. Based on this trailer it r really looks like uh, they're going full ahead with this uh, R rating as well which is great to see finally an R rated comic book movie. I know we had Blade in the past but in terms of an actual superhero, we haven't actually had an R-rated movie before. I just love the self-referential humour you get in this, where it wasn't being wheeled down and he says, Please don't make the suit green or animated. It's just him poking fun of Green Lantern. I was on the floor when I first heard that joke. Yeah, as I said, it looks like the movie is going to be exactly how we would expect it to be, with uh, lots of fourth wall jokes, lots of self-referential humour, and references to um, the outside universe, you know, it's, it's going to be the first time you see a comic book character, you know, uh, in a, in a full-length movie referencing the outside world as we know it. Yeah, I'm just so excited for Deadpool. 2016 shaping up to be a fantastic year for superhero movies. I've, seen, I've said that before, but I mean, you've got Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad, uh, Captain America Civil War, and now Deadpool as well. It's really, it's going to be good. The other two things I wanted to quickly talk about was uh, the fact that we're getting a remake of Jumanji, which um, I'm disgusted by, quite frankly. Uh, the film is only 20 years old. The film is 20 years old and is getting remade. That's an absolute disgrace in the first place. Second thing is, uh, why are you remaking a movie with Robin Williams in it? Talk about the height of disrespect and the complete disregard of what that man did for Hollywood in the film business. Uh, I'm just disgusted. And I'm confused as to how you think you're going to get someone better than Robin Williams to play, play that kind of role. Or, of course, this, this is a remake. It could be they're taking liberties with it. I don't know. I, for one, don't want to see it. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is uh, another remake or reboot. I don't know what they're calling it. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, the first one didn't go so well, did it? Jackie Earl Haley. Don't get me wrong. Trying to live up to Robert England is going to be hard as Freddy Krueger, you know, but and I think Jackie Earl Haley, he did a good job for the time, but uh, the movie really wasn't that good. It, it was nothing we haven't seen before. It was a rehash. It was like the, I compared to the Friday the 13th remake where it was, you, you know, obviously in a remake you want throwbacks, but in Friday the 13th and in the Nightmare on Elm Street remake, the first one, you know, they really were taking the whole throwback thing to an extreme and it was basically a rehash of all the same stuff we've seen before and actually the Nightmare on Elm Street actually stole some scenes out of the original and just completely did them over again which didn't really help matters. So yeah I'm really at this point until we see how the cast is Freddy I'm really indifferent to it at this point and I'm totally against the Jumanji remake, totally against it. Remakes in general I'm, I'm against but there have been some that I've liked like uh Dawn of the Dead, directed by Zack Snyder, I thought was brilliant. Um, contrary to what other people think, I loved the first uh, Rob Zombie Halloween. I thought it was really gritty. I thought it was very different take on the, on the character and, and the mythos of the series. Uh, the second one, not so much. So yeah, just another wee vlog there, guys. Just some random movie talk again. Uh, if you like this, please press the button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're excited for Deadpool, as I know a lot of people are, tell me down below. Uh, comment everything and anything. I love to hear what you guys think as always. And I've been Jason Black. 
You guys have an awesome tech car.